Uh, and you know, you could be, you get as close as you want. It's not like, you know, it's not a uh, spark posterity. So I'm going to be working three things for the full guard here. They're going to be all the way to be predicated on breaking down the posture of our opponent. We're not going to like, give resistance, per se, to one another through these drills, uh, but we're going to go through the motions. Um, you can try to hip up and come inside, that's cool. I encourage you to try to go on the outside of your partner's elbows, try to flare them out as you pinch your knees together, lift and pull in. We're gonna try to break down their posture, get their hands uh, to the mat. When that happens, you get the hands to the mat, you can go for an overhook. Go over the arm and punch your hand, your hand through. Other hand, grab at their head. So we have a single collar with one hand, overhook with the other. That's okay, my head's off the ground, hiding my head from here's some potentially attacking me with their other side. Now I'm gonna unlock my legs, still keeping nice good connection. I'm just I'm not going to move. So unlock my legs, shift my hips out to the direction of the arm I have overhooked. And relock. Come on, do it again. Shift. Here. This is our volatile 101 position. Alright. I'm putting, I have my head off the center line, so here's I can potentially headbutt me very easily. I have one of her arms overhooked. The other arm, if she starts trying to punch with her left arm, I could start, I have a proprioceptic awareness, start coming to her bicep. And uh, just a grappling context, if she starts trying to press down here as well, we have options. I can proactively start pushing away. We have reactive and proactive options, right? So a reactive option, again, if, if Theresa is like, Reaching back to punch, I go foot on the hip, grabbing here, she goes, punch, try to catch here, go to the wrist, I'm pushing with my shin, pulling with uh, my hand. This leg up here, make sure you keep this nice and high in the back. If it gets low, she can pass her out relatively easily to me and take our angle, so we're here. I can also react to fear side and it starts pressing down on my guard, I can then open up and start trying to push it away. Because what we're gonna to try to work here is a triangle entry. We can be proactive and try to force the issue. I get my bottom legs, foot on her hips, and start pushing away proactively. Clamping down high. Choose whatever you like, reactive or proactive options. What we're gonna to try to do is get beat her shoulder, in this case, her left shoulder. I already have her right arm controlled, and it's on the inside of the parameters of my legs. Now I'm gonna to try to force her left arm from the outside of the of my legs. From here, I'm going to try to punch it through. If I'm going proactively, I might punch and beat the shoulders. If I'm reactive, the some might start punching here, go reach back hard, she's trying to go. And that's our opportunity, right? So uh, once we get this high guard, we're going to shoot our hips up, manually move the inside arm of our opponent across their body. Now I'm going to pinch my knees, reverse crunch, Bring them close. Try to maintain um, posture control. At this point, I can reach across to the bottom shin. At that point, I can open up. If I open before grabbing, now I have an open circuit, here's so I can posture up. I don't want that. So grab the shin, then open. Foot on the hip. We're gonna use it not to push away, but to get perpendicular. We're also gonna use that to get our calf and directly in the back of their neck. Not on their back here. Then I lock it, flex my Achilles here. I have an arm bar here potentially, shooting my hips up. I can pinch my knees together, pull down the head, just scoot back and fall a little bit more, and shoot my hips up. And we have an attack. All right. Once again, a little faster. Proactively break down the posture. Head, arm control. Open, hip out towards the side of the elbow. Open, hip out, to the side of the hook. Now, bottom leg, that side foot goes on the hips, top one's clamping down. I either proactively push or reactively do a punch or pressuring down on our legs, shoot this over. Hips up, manually move it across, reverse crunch down. Make sure you have control of their posture. I'm pinching my knees together using some fanial gripping to help with that process. All right now I can grab uh, the bottom leg's shin, open, other foot on the hip, get an angle, clamp down over the head, 
relock, flex your Achilles here. You can scoot back a little bit. I have an arm lock. I can pinch my knee, shoot my hips up, pull down. And we have a triangle. All right. All right. That's good on that, Tony. Um, thank you.